Do you want to play bow in New World, but maybe you're not that great at actually hitting shots? Or do you just want to learn how to play a bow build that's kind of beginner friendly and can be good in pretty much every aspect of the game? If either one of those are something you're looking forward to, then stick around. I have the build for you. All right, let's get started. All right, it is no shocker to anybody to let you guys know that I am not the best bow player in the world, but I still have some okay success with it, especially in group play and just having fun doing some PVE or PVP content. Well, this build is gonna help you get better with the bow, but it's also gonna give you a build that even if you suck at aiming, you're still gonna be able to use and be extremely effective. All right, so let's talk about the build. First, we're gonna talk about the bow, of course, because that is what this build is based off of. You saw the attributes there, but we'll go over those in a second. So we are going with the bow, and here's what the tree looks like. Now let's talk about a few points you can do and a few points I don't take. So first, we do wanna get concussion because that headshot damage is really, really good. And let's be honest, that 50% chance to get your arrow back when you land a headshot. Uh, I go through a ton of arrows, I want that. But that's not why we take the perk, we're taking it for the 20% more damage. It's a really good one point passive. Now, a lot of people like to take the aim true and the opening strike. If you do, this is a great kind of gimmicky burst build. You're not gonna be going all the skills and stuff I have here. If you do this, you're probably just going to go penetrating shot, evade shot, and maybe poison shot. Um, and your build's going to look a little bit different. But the reason why we don't go here is because if you are really good at aiming, these aren't bad. Because then you get a ton, a ton of damage. It is 50% more damage, essentially, on your first hit with this build, with this. But we are not relying on, you know, one shot. We are going to rely on our abilities, and we're going to rely on kind of spamming our shots to actually do our damage because we're not that great at aiming. So let's go over our choices for skills. Now I know a lot of people love evade shot and evade shot's great if you're trying to do a 1v1 type of build, if you're looking for that single target damage, if you're looking for that escapability. But let's be honest, we have some great escapability on here and especially next patch, this build's gonna be even better because realistically there's two things that kill you in this game. We'll go over those in a minute, but essentially it's muskets and Warhammer Great Axe, which got severely nerfed. So let's talk about our skills and why we don't take evade shot. Well, we're not gonna aim very well. So what, how can we make up for that? Well, essentially we're gonna do a bunch of AOE damage. Now we have these three are all AOE damage, but penetrating shots a great single target as well. And it's not really an AOE, it's kind of a, well, penetrating shot, but these two abilities do a lot of damage. We have poison shots, just basically gonna put a poison shot on the ground. We rarely try to hit targets with this. We are more likely trying to hit this on the ground where people are walking. Kind of if they're if you're in an outpost rush and they're trying to come in through the gate, you're gonna put this down in front of the gate so that people get this as they run through. And then Rain of Arrows is going to be our gigantic AOE burst. This thing does crazy damage. We have 150 base damage when you hit in a three meter radius. And then we have an 85% weapon bleed. So you're looking at a what? 235 weapon damage from this AOE. Now, a lot of it is, you know, some of it is backloaded here through this bleed. Um, you don't really have to take this point if you really don't want it, but it's still a pretty good point. We want that extra bleed damage. We want that just extra raw damage on a rain of arrows. I hit people really hard with this ability. Do not sleep on it. And then we have penetrating shot. The best way to use this ability is you wanna line people up. If you can hit two, three, four people with penetrating shot at once, this starts to do insane damage because of this passive right here. Penetrating shot deals 20% more damage. Target's 20 meters away. Sorry, this one. Penetrating shot deals 10% increased damage for each enemy hit, max 50%. So if you go through five targets, the sixth target you would hit is gonna take 50% increased damage and this does an insane amount of damage already. 100%, 150% weapon damage already. And then it does a 20% more damage if targets 20 meters away. So if they're 20 meters away, it does 170% weapon damage. And then if you can tag it up to 50, that is what 230% weapon damage, I, or 220 I think, right? I think it's 170, yeah, 170. And then an additional 50. 
so uh that is 200 and 20 weapon damage on this ability it is absolutely insane trust me everybody user runs this but if you can get it past you some targets it's absolutely brutal okay now let's also talk about why we're running multiple aoe's here with dots on them so we actually like this passive down here to deal 10 percent more damage to foes suffering from a debuff that is why a lot of times our opener is going to be poison shot make sure you try to hit that in the area that they are running around so you can get that poison debuff on them so this debuff itself ticks for quite a lot and it's going to give you a 10 percent damage increase to them we have a lot of damage in our kit and this is going to start to really hit hard now when it comes to this side of the tree we're basically taking a bunch of speed here with archer speed and dodge and weave we're just going to be running as fast as possible and next patch there's no way a great x player is ever going to catch us and then we have evasive tactics do 20 percent more damage for five seconds after dodging, we are dodging a massive amount with this build. So this is basically 20% increased damage to everything because we want to dodge every five seconds to keep our buff up to do just 20% more damage. Now, I'll let you go over here. The kind of play point here is unbreakable focus, receive 10% less damage while aiming, but we're not going to be aiming down sights a lot. But what we do a lot is we will do like, a, we'll just do like a little quick shot, quick shot here. You don't have to do this jumping animation. I started doing it recently. Um, I noticed a lot of people that are doing it. You don't have to, if you want to jump shot, you can just do like, you just do like your right click shoot and then jump. And then you can turn it into a dodge roll too. If you guys want to see a video about jump shooting? I can put it in the, y'all can make one for you, but I'm not that great at it. Um, but it is something that I've started to do a little bit and it has helped me a little bit for survivability and just kind of movement. But that is something you do not have to do at all for this build. It's good, but don't worry about it. Then other than that, we got some, you know, when you uh, land a headshot, heal yourself because we just need passives. I mean, you want to take this point out and uh, where's it at? Uh, this point out, you can get these two. But like I said, unless you're really good at aiming, don't take these two points. It's really just a gimmick and it's not that great. I mean, it's great if you can land it, but if you miss your shots, we don't take this and we're doing a dummy proof build here. So we got the rest of the points here. We're not going to go over them. It's just a ton of damage. We're far away. It's just we're going to do a ton of damage. All right, next, let's talk about our second weapon, and that is going to be the rapier. Now, I did originally go with the spear. We played the spear for a while. This is kind of the build I had for my spear, if you want to try that out. Now, we do have two points missing, and I think the two points I was going to take was critical chance here. Uh, we know not a bleeding target. We wanted the down. Increased damage with knockdown target and gain fortify after successful heavy attacks. No, no, no. We wanted human regenerate is 30% when your stamina is below 50%. That's good. You can really take whatever you want, but the big one here is taking the 25% damage to down targets. You can run this build. I'll let you look at it here. Um, this is pretty good build. We don't really take this. We have a lot of CC between these two and you can light attack in between, but that's not what we're doing here. We are going rapier. Now, I originally didn't like this weapon. thought it was okay, but uh, man, you, the more and more you play with it, the better off you are. And because we're going a dummy proof, dummy proof bow build, and what we're doing here is we're just going to try to stay in bow as much as possible. Now, I do get kills with the rapier because it is a lot of fun. When you get a great X user on you, it's kind of the only way to kill them. But I mean, you can out kite them if you get really good. But like I said, we're not that great at the, at the bow build. So this is kind of what we came up with. You can get rid of a few other things, but I like to deal 10% more damage when your target has greater than 50% health. Gives us a nice big burst damage. You can go into things like... Um, uh, deal 5% more damage to your target with rapier bleed doesn't really do anything or reduce our rapier cooldowns by 1% on any hit which is really cool but it's okay a lot of people will take that instead of um, I believe it's this passive right here gain haste so it's kind of up to you what you take here you either take that or get some cooldown reduction but we don't stay on our rapier that often and we have a lot of cooldown reduction itself here so we don't really need it now we are taking the ultimate deal 30% increased damage on your next light or heavy attack after performing an ability ends on ends on hit or after three seconds uh, we are casting all these abilities all the time we have such low cooldowns this is up quite often it is really good um, but essentially we are using our rapier for you know the ability to get away we have our evade make sure you try to evade shots with that if a great x user gets on you they have a lot of charge up abilities so when they go to charge up your ability just hit repost and then what you can do is you can just dodge roll backwards, evade, dodge roll, and hit that. And then you swap here. And now we have our double movement speed and we're gone. So I'll kind of show you that little like little movement combo, especially when you're trying to back up. Because a lot of times you're going to be facing your target and you're going to be hitting them like this, right? 
you're gonna be either jump shooting or you're just gonna be shooting them like this you're gonna be dodging every five seconds so if i go on the rapier bar but they're gonna attack me all right i've stunned them i will dodge backwards hit evade dodge backwards and as i'm dodging backwards i'm gonna turn and hit my um flesh there and then i'm gonna dodge and bar swap and that's a little bit complicated but once you get used to it it's not bad obviously if you are not dodging backwards i don't use evade unless i'm just doing you know shots but i use the evade a lot here because it's kind of like a nice little animation cancel so you can see i didn't dodge there because i was a little bit slow there's a little bit of a tying to doing the weapon swap dodge there but uh yeah it's really fast and you can really get away from your target once you get especially that stun off now if you're feeling good about it you can go into you know some attacks if you hit him with a stun you can dodge roll through him do a fully charged heavy and uh, then you can do the evade light and that is a ton a ton of damage and then if they're still up you can do this and do the cancel you can just left click to actually cancel it or you can just do like light attack spam if they're not that great get your cooldowns up and then hit them with another flesh or uh, repost there and you're good um but like i said we are going to be using this weapon mainly to get away we're just going to be using that to get out of jail as fast as possible now like i said we get kills with it but it's really good now let's talk about the attribute points you already seen them you already seen them you already saw them my wife would kill me but we have 385 index 56 in con you don't need the 56 it's just kind of how my gear laid out we have 56 in con but we want the 50 con passive and we're putting the rest into dexterity because the bow scales really well with dexterity now if you're feeling a little bit squishy and you want to go the more tanky route you can drop 50 points out of decks and put them into con or you can go with medium armor medium armor is a very viable build especially if you want to go heavier into the melee side we're going to have like some maybe double melee cool builds coming up maybe like rapier spear maybe hatchet spear we're going to have a few builds like that coming up but right now um i really love this setup if you're going for we're basically relying on our bow and the rapier to get away so there you go if you want to use food you can use whatever one you want you want more damage obviously you go the dexterity if you want more tankiness i would put four more points into con and then use the 40 con food to get you to 100 con and then just have 381 decks now if you don't have all these points don't worry about it we'll show you my gear next because i do have some higher tier gear we're not quite at the you know the top end of our attribute points we don't have them all but we do have a decent set of gear here and essentially we are mainly looking for dexterity you could have a little bit of con and then we want resilient because we are pretty pretty you know squishy and one of our worst matchups is a musket and muskets headshots really really hurt so we want resilient and dexterity you can see my gear here we have dexterity con dexterity resilient we have dexterity and feeble poison shot this is a good ability to have poison shot air, poison shots arrow also applies weakened reducing targets damage by 14 percent that's really good especially when you get into those 1v1s then we have dexterity nothing that needs to be resilient if you can get it and then we have dexterity resilient with nothing so that is our gear you can look at our jewelry here we have this piece which is pretty good um dexterity con with health on it i mean i played i paid quite a bit for this because health is the best perk you can have because at least on your amulet because we want that tankiness next we have a ring with we want the thrust damage of course and then refreshing evasion is you know not too bad reducing active cooldowns by 0.89 percent uh, after exiting the dodge animation we're gonna be doing that a lot and then our earring here is dexterity refreshing ward reduce active cooldowns when you get hit by five times we don't really use that and then nimble for stamina regen which is kind of cool you don't need this um but it is a good perk because we are dodging a lot so that little bit extra stamina regen really helps and then of course dexterity now when it comes to our weapons we are going to go with a rapier first we just I, this was a drop i got which was dexterity con vicious and keenly empowered vicious is going to be the best best stat you can have on either of these two weapons technically vorpal does more damage you can craft there's actually a bow you can craft um that's a guaranteed craft if you are 200 in engineering that will get you a vorpal bow but remember we're not very great at hitting shots so vorpal is not as good but because we're in dexterity because we can guarantee crits vicious is going to be your best stat the more pieces you can have with vicious on it the better this is insane 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 healing power is good too we like empowered 
Um, and we are going to be critting all the time. So these two stats are really good. And I just got kind of lucky with this, even though it is only a 583. Then we have our bow. When I came to this server, I saw this bow and I was like, I really need to buy it. And it was just, this bow is essentially 630 decks enchanted. That's it. There's nothing else on here. The other stuff doesn't really matter. We're not taking rapid shot, lost Bane. If we're going against lost enemies, that's cool. But I bought this bow. I probably overpaid for it, but I really wanted a 600 bow with enchanted. Realistically, vicious is better. We want that extra crit damage because we are critting all the time. If you can have one of the two. I would take that for sure. But this is still really good. So the abilities you want on here are the perks. You want vicious, enchanted, and either vorpal or keen. But we are critting all the time, so you really don't need keen that much. Whenever we have the new perks coming out, we will probably want the light attack one. That'll be really good. If you want to go the one-shot build, you can go the heavy attack one, but I believe there's going to be one that'll up your damage of your light attacks by like 15% or something crazy. It will be doing so much more damage. So there's the gear. We showed you everything. That's kind of why my stats are a little bit high, because if you look at my gear score here, 599, 595, 598, 583, 597, these are kind of low. Uh, we do have a 560 here, but we have 528, 511, and then we have 600 and a 583. All right, now let's talk a little bit about how to play the bow. So when it comes to the bow and rapier, we are gonna try to be on our bow as much as possible. Now, like I said, the first thing you wanna get used to is dodge rolling. But the one thing you don't wanna do is you don't wanna over dodge roll, right? You don't wanna dodge roll three times and get your stamina bar here in what I call the um, exhaustion state. So you wanna dodge roll, do some attacks dodge roll do some attacks and look at my stamina regen dodge roll do some attacks you can almost keep your stamina up a hundred percent of the time just by getting used to doing your dodge rolls now as long as you're not spamming them you're never going to worry about stamina that extra stamina regen is nice but i sometimes do kind of do a pan double panic dodge there especially when you're trying to get away from enemies or if you're doing the little little combo here the little run you know we want that extra speed um, but that's why the stamina regen is nice, but you really don't need it. But the first thing you want to do is continuously, continuously dodge roll. Other than that, we are essentially with this build, just looking for clumps of enemies. You're going to be playing this essentially like you would play a mage. We are going to light attack all the time. We are, hold on, let me put on my iron arrows so we're not wasting all of my Orichalcum arrows here. So we're going to be light attacking all the time. Now, the one thing that I will tell you with the bow, and this is something that took me a while to learn, is two things. First, it is going to take you some time to get used to the bow. At least, like myself, I'm not that great at doing FPS. I'm not that great at, you know, if it's regular shooting, it's not bad for me. But when it comes to very much leading your target, having to aim you know, up. I mean, I'm a real sh like bow user in real life. I've done a lot of hunting, so I know kind of, I know how to do it, but in the game, it's a lot different. So it's gonna take you some time to get used to it. So if you do switch to this build, make sure you stick with it for a while before you decide to swap off of it, because it's gonna be kind of hard at first. The next thing is going to be, don't aim too much. I know that's gonna sound kind of dumb, but one thing I found myself doing when I first started was really trying to aim up my shots. So I would, you know, swap to my bow here and then I'd be like, all right, we're going to hit, we're going to hit this target. I'll aim, aim, aim. And then you'd miss actually I hit him, but you would miss. Right. And I found that I got used to more doing almost like a flick shot. You'll see in some of these clips here that I'm kind of just moving, move, shoot, move, shoot, move, shoot, move, shoot. Even if you don't hit, it's okay. Just get used to dragging your cursor with the person, just kind of continuously leading them kind of adjusting your arrow shots as they go. Make sure you're aiming up, make sure you're aiming in front of them. The arrow sometimes seems like it wants to go to the left. So keep that in mind. And I all I found that you always want to try to lead the target farther than what they are. Because what happens is sometimes it does kind of go down to the left. Sometimes it doesn't. I try to lead a little bit farther because your arrows are slow. But like I said, if you sit there and you take the time to aim, if they just stop or if they just, you know, stutter step for a second, or change directions then you miss every time. So what I do is I just kind of trace them with my arrow or my marker here as much as I possibly can. That way we can it kind of get you in the motion of not necessarily aiming, but just kind of pointing and going. You're just kind of moving, kind of the way you would shoot a real recurve in real life. You're just, you're pointing, you're not aiming. I know that kind of sounds dumb, but trust me, once you get to that point, it'll be really, really good. 
All right, now I know I mentioned there's two bad matchups with the Great Axe Warhammer and the Musket. Now you can beat those, well at least you can beat the Great Axe Warhammer. The Warhammer itself is either gonna be, if you wanna run away, make sure you dodge away from their actual abilities. You can get away from them, but you have to be perfect on your dodges. You have to dodge their reap, you have to dodge their gravity well, and you have to dodge the path of destiny. If you get hit by any one of those three, they're gonna be on you and you're gonna have to use your rapier to get away. But like I said, to use the rapier, just wait for them to go ability. Make sure you're dodging, using your evade to dodge their shots. They're gonna go for some form of heavy. They're gonna go for some long drawn out cooldown and that's when you hit them with the flesh. And then you can either dip out or you can go ahead and kill them with the rapier. Um, I suggest you going ahead and trying it because what's the worst that can happen? You die? That's not a big deal, especially when we're out talking about doing outpost rush. Who cares what your stat line is? A lot of the people, they're like, man, I play bow and I just, I don't get nearly the amount of stat line. Well, part of it is when you actually kill mobs, you don't actually get a chance to, you know, when you down them, most of the time people get the actual kill instead of you because your bullets are a lot slower. But, you know, you can actually just have a lot of fun and you will start to get more and more kills. It is probably the highest, no, it is for sure, the hardest weapon set to run in the game, in my opinion. No, I don't think it's close. Then when it comes to musket, musket's a lot different. So when it comes to musket, let's say that musket user is up on the rock right there, and that's what it's gonna be, right? Now, you can hit him with one shot, and you're not doing the one shot build. They're gonna, you're gonna hit, hit him, and then they're going to duck behind cover. So what I actually like to do to make sure I can get on them is I'll hit him with a poison arrow. So I'll put the poison arrow up on the rock. It's gonna tick them, and it ticks for quite a long time, and then I try to hit him with a, with a penetrating shot because it goes off a little quicker. So if I can hit him with both of those, or at least the poison shot, that'll allow you to get close enough to him. And that's when you're really gonna use the rapier for your damage. You can, if you get close enough to them, you can use your bow, and I have before, but if the musket is quite a bit away, if they're not kind of within 15 meter mark, it's really hard to kill a musket player because their bullets are so quick that once you hit them once, and it's your bullets are so easy to dodge your arrows when you're actually you know, far enough away from the target where they can see them coming and they can just dodge it. So that's what how I play the the musket. The big thing is, is just getting yourself in a position where you can't get hit by musket players. Make sure you're dodging. You'll start seeing them fly by your face because they love bow users because you are typically really squishy. All right, guys, that's kind of the build. I know this is going to go for a little bit longer than my last build video, but there's a lot to kind of talk about here. You saw some clips of me, you know, missing. You saw some clips of me kind of helping you out. Let me know what you think of this in the comment section down below. There's going to be some PvP clips here after this is all said and done. I know you guys really enjoy those. I know you guys have been enjoying the builds. If you didn't know, we're going to be kind of going on to a schedule of Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday for our upload schedule. We haven't quite nailed time the exact time each one of them are going to go up. But if there's anything extra, we'll be putting more stuff up on the YouTube channel. Um, we do have some more stuff. I actually wanted to get you guys a video about every cosmetic that is coming out in the next update, the winter event. But unfortunately, New World, uh, when I was on the PTR, I could not see my Azoth files, so I couldn't continue doing my quest. I actually had like five or six pieces bought already, and I could actually buy a couple, like two more. Um, so I wasn't that far off it, but it would take, man, it would take probably 15, 16 hours just to get it. And I don't even know if that's something you guys would wanna see. Let me know in the comment section down below if in the future that is something you'll want to see because by the time this comes out i probably won't have time to do it all right guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed these pvp clips like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you next time